on Battlefield. Let's go. All right, so let's see what they got. Who do you think is the favorite? I think Ray might be the higher seed, right? Um, no, I would say Kaspar is the higher seed. Okay. Um, I would say their Ooh. skill level, I, I would put it... I would, oh, 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 no jump, no jump! And that's going to be a downturn, that's going to be an Ash card! Yeah, yeah, First yeah. First stock goes to Kaspar. Yeah, Kaspar is a more accomplished player on, on the European scale. Like, he has a big win over Zork from like a year or two ago. And, oh. and uh, he's been uh, having some good results in the, in the Netherlands too. So, But I would still say the skill level between these two if there is a difference, I don't think it's too high. All right. But I would lean slightly towards giving Kaspar the respect for being a, more of a veteran. But really solid tipper from Graham wow. there to take the lead after going down early on. It looked like a Roy zone tipper. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. All right. The up tilts for days. Looking like a Smash Ultimate here for a second. Yeah. It also looks like both these players really like to go for like uh, seemingly random F smashes, mm -hmm. and they get a lot of mileage out of it. Yeah, yeah. Pivot tippers and stuff like that you'll see a lot from Casper V. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Barely within that edge oh, guard, oh, but yeah. And then he baits the side B, punishes him with an F smash, so even Stevens again. But oh my goodness, what a spot dodge! The thing is, the Mart side B is so good for helping him recover, but it's also very, very dangerous to do because you're actually left vulnerable for quite some time. Definitely. So if if your opponent is ready for it, it can be you know the death knell. Yeah, it's got no range whatsoever. So especially if you're playing against Marth, like another Marth, you can outrange that side B so easily. Yeah. So just bait it, just like uh, Chillin dude did against Ken in that legendary set. <laughs> yes. Played it game over. So that's the Chillin dude. Yeah. Could make out. it. Dude. Yeah, he was he was in Europe up until today, I think. Or really? Yesterday. Yeah, he was oh, in yeah, Chelsea. Oh yeah, Chelsea. Yeah. All right, that's gonna be back here. All right, I would have imagined a Nair would have been a good choice, but Kasper V proves me wrong. Yeah, on battlefield, it's a bit hard for Marth to set up the the sweet spot. Yeah. Just because there's no wall to ride, so you have to you know be mindful of your vertical position, but yeah. also your horizontal position. So it makes it easy to you know stick out just a bit too much and be vulnerable when uh, when your opponent F smashes you. And look, unluckily, if you, you're not sweet spotting, you're not gonna get that wall tech. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. And you saw he was looking for a pivot F smash there, but he barely whiffed it and got a dash back instead. What a wise recovery there by Kaspar V. But he's still recovering. Oh, now nice. got back into the stage, and that could have been oh. a tipper, but. Slightly misplaced, slightly mistimed. Oh my <laughs> god! We have, oh, oh my god! The the pimper, pimper, down, down smash. smash! Wow! Have you seen Casper V's uh, facial expression? He was like, oh "All right, yeah. <laughs> I'll take it." Yeah. Maybe he That's wanted to down tilt, but misclick, you know? Yeah. It, it didn't seem like prepared for it to work. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> but it did, and it was perfect. Right, we go to FD. Uh, this is much easier to uh, recover from. Yeah. Uh, or to recover when you're off stage. Yeah. Uh, with Mark. A lot as more as ledge takes here. Yeah, as you just said. Another one of those down smashes. Man, Casper V is trying to implement them in his game. Ooh. Maybe it was intentional after all. Yeah, well, it is one of those things the new school Marts have been trying, you know, to optimize a bit more, setting up for the tip or down smash, because it is a super strong hitbox. I think it's about as strong as Fox's up smash. Yeah, and yeah, uh, I think it's about the same, yeah, yeah. that's true. The only problem historically has been that the weak hit is so bad that it leaves you really open, even uh, if you connect with the weak hit, so you need the tipper. So oh, we landed? Uh, oh. It makes the, the you know, the, the window of error pretty, uh, pretty large. Could not crouch cancel this up B. Wise choice by Graham, holding in. Oh, wow, Kaspar be quick. Will not make it back from this, and Kaspar staying in the lead here. Uh huh. I mean, the first game was a back and forth all yeah, the time. I definitely. expect no less for the second game. Uh, maybe Graham can clutch one out. Yeah. Nice little stall with the uh, no direction air dodge there to, yeah. to save his frames for when Kaspar was a bit closer. Oh, oh, how did yeah. that tipper? Jesus. Caught him DIing in. Again, not really solid with his, uh, with his down tilts here. Yeah, down smash here. This time you see the, the sour spot connect. Uh, and again, Kaspar, yeah. Tipper, yeah. Pivot tipper, not there for him. 
that was close. Oh, and he didn't oh, land. Oh, wow, yeah. that was that was a really quick ram noodles right there by Kasper Lee. Yeah, that's the problem with the not fast falling your aerial from the ledge like that is that you can caught without a jump, and it's puts you in a terrible position as one. You're really because the up B is so you know like one note. Didn't uh, land. Didn't land. You it's gotta need, be a stop. Yeah, you really need the jump to be able to make it back to the stage. All right. Oh, those spot dodges. Yeah. What the hell? Oh, nice stop. counter from the ledge. The yeah, he tried it for like 15 times by yeah. now, and I think <laughs> at one point it had to hit. Yes, it was Murphy's Law in reverse. Yeah, exactly. And Graham, even though he's seen it so many times, wasn't prepared for it. Yep. That was the no mix-up mix-up mind game. <laughs> Fakes right, goes right. <laughs> And there we go, another up air, another up air. Oh, oh. We tried to go for the up tilt. Is that a thing? He used the neutral B to like interact with his uh, his ball speed. Yeah. And it made uh, made Cosper V drop his combo there. That was really sneaky. It's kind of like the chic uh, chain thing to get down. Oh yeah. It's sort of the same thing for Marth. Got the rejump. Oh, that looking bad for Graham, but could hit Cosper V. Cosper V gets a knockdown. Alright, Cosper V makes it back onto the stage. Looking poised to take this Marth Ditto. Oh, yeah, oh, Graham already beautiful. at 88, but it's it's not impossible. Marth Ditto's, you know, the combos are really good for Marth uh, exactly. on himself. So. And he's going to have a serious case of Marthritis very soon. Yeah, so definitely. Cusper needs to clean it out quickly because the longer this gate, this stock goes on, it's the worse it is for him. Ooh, nice stall, yeah. but that's going to be yeah. it. Cosper V takes it 2-0. That was a shame because that stall was really good, like you said, but then it seemed like he kind of...